everyone welcome back to my channel and happy tutorial Tuesday today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make the two lace pocket folder if you guys remember um, not too long ago I did a pocket folder with two lace pockets for a traveler's notebook and it has a velcro quote the velcro closing oh my god I can't say that um, and a lot of you guys requested for me to show you guys how I did it, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Mine is going to be Valentine's Day theme, and it's not going to be for a traveler's notebook, but I'm going to do it the same way, because the only thing you have to do is insert it into a traveler's <coughs> notebook, and then you have a perfect insert. But, um, because I don't have a traveler's notebook that's large enough right now, I have my Walmart TN, the lace pocket wouldn't fit, so I'm just going to do a basic little... Valentine's Day folder and I thought with Valentine's Day coming around might as well start doing a couple of Valentine's Day projects So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're Going to need if you want to do this exact folder is the lace metal die and this one I actually purchased it. I want to say from Aliexpress um, I'm pretty sure that's where I got my lace um, metal die and this is for the two pockets and then the next thing that you're going to need is, of course, a Sizzix machine so or any kind of metal die machine. This is the one that I have. It's the Sizzix. I love it. It is my baby. I've been obsessed with it ever since I got it, and I just, I don't think I can live without it. So um, you're going to definitely need that. You're also going to need, I have my little trash can. Um, you're also going to need a paper trimmer. Um, a scoreboard. I always use the Fiskars one and then the scoreboard. I think this is the Martha Stewart or We Are Memory Keepers. I think it's the We Are Memory Keepers. And then I have my ATG gun so you're just going to need some kind of adhesive and then you're going to need any decorative pieces. You're going to need some Velcro and then I have all of my little basic tools which is like my scissors, my scoring tool. This is for the metal die machine. It makes it really easy to take off all the little itty bitty pieces. So I love having this. It's by Spellbinders. And you can definitely find it at Michael's. A couple of scissors, pencil, and a score um, tool. You can buy these separately or um, mine came with it in the, uh, the scoreboard. So yeah. And then of course you're going to need the paper of your choice. I'm going to be using this paper pad right here. It's called Better Together. It's by Recollections, and I love it. It's a super cute, fun theme. It reminds me almost like a kawaii type of paper pad, and I just love it. I've been using it a lot, and I don't have a lot of prints. Usually the prints that I end up with are like these right here, and I just, I love using all of my stuff. So here are the two. This one's gonna be my cover. This one's gonna be the inside, because it is gonna have to be double-sided because these are not double sided and then I have a couple of decorative pieces that I want to use for my front cover and then of course my lace pockets so these are the ones that I chose they're just pink and white stripes and I love them and I already cut them out in my Sizzix machine so that you know I can save some time for the video you can always laminate it I don't want to laminate it personally because if I laminate it then it's gonna be glossy and then my paper is gonna look matte and I just want everything to look cohesive and just match perfectly and I don't want it to look shiny because there is a difference in texture so you can always laminate it for this one in particular I'm not gonna laminate it and then I have these little pull apart cards that I may or may not use as decorative pieces but yeah let's go ahead and get started and if you guys have any questions definitely always feel free to either email me message me on Instagram or leave it in the comments down below first, the first thing I'm going to do is do my measurements of course and I don't even know what size this is going to be to be completely honest because like I said it's not for a traveler's notebook if I do use a traveler's notebook I normally use the insert book that's in my traveler's notebook as my template and then I just kind of trace the measurements off of that so if you're doing this for a traveler's notebook take your insert book your calendar schedule um, notes book or whatever you have inside or even if you already have dashboards you can definitely use that too um, and then just kind of lay it out um, and then just do the size according to it and then always make sure you leave a little space in the middle and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. 
So this is my lace pocket right here. And then here's my other one right here. So I think I'm definitely gonna need um, the entire 12 by 12 sheet. So now I'm gonna determine how tall I want it. Obviously if you're making it for say AB6 size traveler's notebook, then you want it to be a little bit shorter. If you want it for a standard size traveler's notebook, then it's gonna be a little taller. So it just all depends whatever size traveler's notebook you have. But if you're doing this freehand like me and you don't need it for a traveler's notebook and you just want to use it for sticker storage or whatnot, then you can always make it whatever size you want. So for mine, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do seven and a half. That looks like a good size for me. It gives me a good amount in case I want to use taller stickers and then I have enough space in case, of course, I'm going to use shorter stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to do the same thing to this one because whatever um, size my front cover is going to be, then I'm going to need to do the same thing to my back cover. So I'm going to go ahead and do seven and a half and then we're going to go ahead and cut. And this video is going up late because um, um, I've been working a lot because I don't have extra coverage right now. So I'm like alternating my hours. So my hours this week are kind of all over the place. And so that's why the video is going up late. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut this one as well. Um, if I, I can't even... Where's the measure? Oh, here they are. I'm like, where's the measurements? This thing just kind of flew out. All right, so then put all your separate pieces to the side. That way um, you don't get confused on what is what. So that's my back portion. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make our markings for the middle. So let's see, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my lines right here. So you always just have to follow the creases. When you do a metal die, it's always going to have creases and those are the creases that you're always going to need to fold. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this just so that I know exactly the width of this lace pocket. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, I've got a lot of requests on my Instagram about the little planner keychains and I think that tutorial is going to be next Tuesday so I'm very excited for that. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and turn on your post notifications because that's going to be fun. Alright, so it's approximately 5 inches, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it at the 5 inch mark. Right, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to go ahead and take off an inch. I'm going to mark at the 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, I think I'm going to do... Hmm. This may be a little uneven. Let me figure this out. Alright, so I figured it out. I'm going to actually end up leaving a little bit of room. So if you see my measurements, here's the five inch mark, here's the six inch mark, and then here's the half inch mark, and then if you go down one, two, I marked my line for my scoring, and then one, two to the left, I marked my line to the scoring. So left, right, go down two, and then left, right, go down two. So you'll see that like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing up top. So here is my half, and then two, because this is where my little folding crease is going to be, and I'm going to erase this one so that I don't get confused, and I'm going to cut off an inch. So the length of my folder is 10 inches, right? So you'll see it's, actually it's 11 inches, 
11 inches long and seven and a half inches um, tall. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and score. I like to do it like three or four times just to make sure that my crease is in there. Lately the crease has been a little stiff. And then you're gonna go ahead and fold. So now we're going to go ahead and how cute is that cover? And then we're going to do the same thing over here. have the base of my folder this is my cover right so we're gonna put that one to the side so now we need to do the inside so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna take off an inch and then the inside always has to be a little bit smaller so we're gonna go over one So now we're going to go to the little line um, next to the one and then to the little line by the half. And let's make sure that's correct. Yeah. I think that's right. We'll find out right now. So now this. We're actually going to cut these right here. This is how I do all of my double-sided work. It's just easy for me and it works. All right. So now the moment of truth. You want this base to fit in here and as you can see, it's a little shorter. So, and this one's a little longer. Oh my gosh, my measurements are off. So I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the little one because I'd rather be short than over. I'm going to erase these lines. All right, so make sure you erase these lines right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add washi right here. So I'm gonna add this one right here because it matches nicely. Washi is so nice and flexible that my crease is still there. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lay this down. And we're going to glue it. And then we're going to do the same thing. Why is this one smaller? I thought like... There's something off right here. 
All right, you guys, so I did the measurements wrong on the first paper, which sucks because this was such a pretty print, but I'm gonna save that so that I can use it for a different project. But I revised my measurements and that's what they looked like, so that's the half. And then I went over three spaces instead of two um, to my left and then three spaces over to my right and then score. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut and I took an inch off and now everything should be nice and even. And that's because I didn't double check. And now everything should work nicely. So there we have that. And then there we have that, perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our adhesive and we're gonna start gluing everything down. And since I'm not going to laminate this, I'm going to make sure that I add adhesive to all of my edges. See, so basically when, you know, when crafting, it doesn't always go the way you want it. Especially when you measure like freehand like me, when I just, I never write my measurements down and I just, you know, I kind of remember sometimes how I did it and I just go off whatever size I'm doing and whatever size I want to work on. So. Perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I would say if there's a project that you wanna try for yourself, then no matter how many times you have to redo it or how much paper you end up like wasting, like that, I'm not gonna throw those away just because I messed up the size because I can use them to die cut and just um, create like embellishments because they're small enough. I can even make little folders with them, little tags with them. So. Perfect. And then as you can see, I have a little bit of washi there, which is super cute. It's still nice and hidden and it still works. And I love it. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our lace pockets. I would have totally done a different, this is from the Valentine's paper pad, but it's like a grid. I would have totally loved this one because it's a darker pink and it just works better. And I can even probably just like lay it, like layer it, but I'm not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the lace pockets. And then again, you wanna add your adhesive. adhesive is nice and strong. So I'm going to go ahead and add. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other one. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Perfect. So now we have our lace pockets. Look at how cute that is. So then before you start adding any decorations, go ahead and just add your little Velcro. Again, this is from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here. Just 
pen I already pen this out before I press down. There we go. Just press, 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 press. Super cute. And there you have your Velcro. I love that. So now I can go ahead and add my little decorative pieces. I'm going to go ahead and add the super cute doily. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here. I'm going to go ahead and add the XOXO sticker. I'm going to add extra adhesive to make sure it stays nice and secure. And then to bring out all the pink, I'm going to go ahead and add this pink heart. This is like a wood chip. There we go. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness, I love it. I'm obsessed. And then you can always, you know, put a, left, a little decorative piece. So I'm going to go ahead and just do some really quick cutting. I'm going to use this one we sparkled together to bring out the red and the doily. And then I'm going to do the puppy love because it's really cute and because I have a puppy. Right? You can add it right there as something decorative. How fun is that? Yes, and it's not going to interfere with your stickers, of course, because these are going to lay down flat. And, you know, you just can't add something that's 3D like this because then it'll interfere with the way your stickers lay out. So... I mean, it helps that it's a grid dot because then I can see like if it's laying down evenly. And I'm running out of glue. Wow, I just ran out of glue. All right. So it's on this one. Perfect. There you go. And then you can add, you know, whatever you want to add to it. Some little die cut stickers paper anything like that and that's pretty much it you guys that's how to do the two lace pocket velcro folder i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments down below if there's anything else that you guys want to see leave it in the comments down below as well because there's so many videos that i've done or so many projects that i've done and i know there's a lot that you guys still want to see so just leave it in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love how this came out. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm obsessed. As always, if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. I love you guys. Have a great night and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.